Hi, I'm Gaz Reynolds at Radio Harrow Studios, and you are? I'm Gary Walker. And you are? I'm Daniel Cash. And we are? Radio in... Harrow. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Here is a breakfast that's almost too good to be true, and yet it is. This is Breakfast. Radio Harrow. And a very good morning, Harrow. A wonderful morning, world. Uh, good morning to you, Daniel. Good morning, Gary. How are you doing today? Very good, thanks. And an exceptionally good morning to you, Gaz. Oh, good morning, Gary, and good morning, Daniel. Um, thanks for having me back on the show. Yeah, and I'm sorry that your microphone wasn't turned up crap properly. Oh, no, that's fine. It should be better now. Uh, maybe you could just adjust it a little bit towards you, though. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's much better. And uh, thank you again, because you also brought cake. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, well, it was my birthday the other day, so um, I saved you a slice, but if I'd realised that Daniel was going to be here as well, I would have brought him a slice as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll split it, though. It was a big, <laughs> big enough piece. We will split that uh, into two. And that cake is from my um, newlywed wife. Oh, uh, well, congratulations. Uh, who I should say hello to, because I know she's listening now. Um, so uh, good, good morning from London to Elsie. And uh, thank you very much, Elsie. A beautiful cake. And I've seen your, your photograph as well. Uh, so I, I dare say uh, you have a beautiful wife as well. Oh, guys. yeah, no, she's very, very beautiful. Yeah. Um, Elsie Reynolds, if you want to check her out, because you can see, see quite a lot of stuff on Google now about her. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we've got a, a great show coming up today. We, of course, have Gaz in the studio. We'll be talking with Gaz throughout this hour. Radio Harrow, 13 minutes after 7 o'clock. It is your Saturday morning here on Radio Harrow. Now, uh, two songs in common. Daniel, you're so excited because you got this one. I am. First time, actually. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Barbie Girl and Dolls. The song title of the first song was Barbie Girls, and the artist of the second song is Google Dolls. Therefore, Dolls and Barbie, a Barbie is a doll. Yeah, yeah of course, though. That is the two songs in common. So, Gans, you're here in the studio. Where do we start? You, you've you gotten married. You, do you want to start with that? Yeah, well, I can do. Yeah, um, well, I know the, the wife's listening. Um, to you lot, she's called Mrs. Reynolds. <laughs> 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 I just call her wifey. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, you need that to would hashtag be... that. <laughs> hashtag wifey. Uh, uh, I know people that call the Wi-Fi internet connection wifey as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so wifey's listening now, and also um, some friends of ours, uh, Nympha and Martin, who live in the UK, um, not far away from me, actually. They're tuned in now, and I did say that I would say hello to them. So a big hello to... Um, Nympha and Martin, who are tuned in. Um, I don't know if you guys want to say hello as well. Yeah, I, I do, and, and I think one of them commented about my Scottish accent. And, uh, <laughs> I, I... No, and she said American, and I said, <laughs> as if it's Scottish. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what, lad? <laughs> uh, I am of Scottish background, though. Oh, are you? Yes, yes, my, my ancestry is from Scotland, from Fife. You're not going to start coming in here in a, in a kilt, are you? You know, I have a kilt. <laughs> Unfortunately, I left it in Tanzania, and I. I Did you play the bagpipe? I, I no, no. They're horrible. <laughs> start horrible, horrible bagpipes. <laughs> bagpipes. No, uh, sorry, I won't go there. But uh, no, I actually uh, apparently looked really good in a kilt. Uh, I oh. had uh, a number of women that thought I was absolutely stunning when I was in my kilt. Now, if you if you went to the Philippines where I got married and you was walking around in a kilt. You might be seen as being what they term as being a lady boy. <laughs> well, lady old man, for, in my case. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. Going back to the the wedding, um, I got married um, in February. I had to think back there for a minute because <laughs> it seems so long ago now. So much has happened. Seventh uh, of February, I got uh, married. Um, sorry, the seventh of February, February, I left Philippines. Um, I got married on the fifth of February. And um, so, yes, it's all sort of flown by really, really quickly. Um, but it was it, it was an amazing wedding. Um, Elsie's an amazing woman. And um, and then the music press picked up on the story and it's been featured in lots of magazines. So um, you can see some of these sort of featured on Google. If you type in Gaz Reynolds in the Philippines, you'll see all this, all these magazines come up. It was a bit of a surprise, really. Um, so that's that's been quite nice, and you can see what she looks like as well. Yeah. Now I've been to weddings in Africa, and they are amazing events because there's nothing, no such thing as a small wedding because there's 
the extended family and the extended family of the extended family of both sides, the bride and the groom, <laughs> and people that turn up just because they see it's a wedding, so uh, it means there must be some free food someplace. Yeah, and I was expecting that because I have been married before, and I was um, my first marriage was to um, an Indian, and I got married in India, and uh, there was about probably, I reckon, about a 1,000 people that turned up that were uninvited. And, and those <laughs> weddings last for days as well. well that, this one didn't. It did it just go on for the day. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I kind of said to, to my wife before we got married, please, no additional guests. How many people are we going to have? Cause can we could just keep it small? Um, and uh, we did manage to, but 20 extra people did turn up. Well, that's that's 20, why you need to. Yeah, because because uh, I said basically, if you're telling me that it's this amount of people, then it will be double that. Just employ me as a bouncer. You, know, <laughs> but you can see I'm pretty like bouncer type. Yeah. But it takes two days to get to the Philippines from here, so it's it's a long trip. Yeah, that that it is. Uh, in the meantime, we must move along. Uh this is breakfast. Awake, my noble friend. Radio Harrow. This is Radio Harrow. All fresh and delicious. Breakfast. Radio Harrow. And this indeed is Breakfast here on Radio Harrow. Uh, joined in the studio, of course, uh, Daniel is with me. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Gary. How are you doing? I'm well, thanks. And Gaz Reynolds is here. Hi, Gaz. Good morning, Gary. How are you? Uh, just great, thanks. Uh, Gaz, you have a new single in the dance charts. Uh, tell us a bit about that. Yeah, well, um, it's called Electric Karma Sutra, and it's remixed by Somiac. Um, I might add, it's not explicit, <laughs> so it's totally clean. Um, and... Um, yeah, it's, uh, it just came out yesterday on worldwide release. It was on pre-order for three weeks before that um, on Amazon, iTunes and Spotify. But now it's actually been picked up by pretty much every store around the world. Um, I've even seen it on sale in Japan, uh, China and Russia. So I've been very excited. And of course it's on sale here as well in the UK. It's on sale in the UK. Um, so it's on iTunes, Amazon, um, anywhere that you can think of where where music sold basically how long how long did it take you to work on this song from start till the release date yeah that's how actually long? a really really good um question because uh i as i said i've just recently got married um in the philippines and um i was actually saying to my wife elsie um when i was out there the, the mixes were still coming in so that so i was actually in the philippines and they would be an email to me and unfortunately the um the Philippines hasn't got great internet connections, so I couldn't hear the mixes properly, so I couldn't approve them. Um, but eventually I managed to uh, hear all the mixes and uh, I fed back and went, wow, these, these are, this is going to be a hit. I was pretty, pretty certain of it. But the whole pre-planning part actually took about six months. So you've been planning this basically since Christmas? Yes. Well, probably just before Christmas, actually, to be quite honest with you. OK, uh, do you think maybe we should uh, take a listen and... Uh premiere it here on Radio Harrow. Let's give it a spin then. Okay, here it goes. This is Electra Karma Ele Sutra. Electric Karma Sutra. Uh, and it's the uh, Somiac remix. That's that's the brand that's, new one. And that's the brand new one. Okay, yeah. on Radio Harrow. This is Breakfast. Radio Harrow. Electric Karma Sutra. Electric. Electric Karma Sutra. Electric. Electric Karma Sutra. Electric. Electric Karma Sutra Electric 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 Control. Free your mind, your body, and soul. 
Electric Karma Sutra on Radio Harrow. I'm Gary Walker along with Daniel Cash and Gaz Reynolds. Uh, it is uh, 7.43 exactly, and it is, of course, Saturday. Just a reminder, coming up uh, yet today at 9 o'clock, we have the leader of the labor group for Harrow, and, of course, that means he is also in charge of the Harrow Council. David Perry will be in the studio looking for your questions and answering your questions, my questions. Uh, I've got my council tax bill with me, and I want to talk to him about my council tax bill as one of the things we're going to discuss. I might uh, hang around and bring mine along as well. <laughs> uh, but it's just, it's got some things on it that I don't quite understand in terms of uh, how the government one has gone down, but the council one has gone up, and I, I, I just need him to sort of, I, I'm sure I'm not the only one confused by it. Uh, at 10 o'clock, of course, Donna Lois is in with Early Morning Soul, even though by then it's late morning. Uh, at 11 o'clock, we have the World's Greatest Request Show. Patience uh, Hour. Which is, of course, the Patience Hour. Thank you, Daniel. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, Beats, Jams, Vibes. That with you till 2 with Miles Otway at 2 o'clock. It's the sports show. Shrey Purenik anchoring, and he's very excited because he's going to be so busy. We have people everywhere today. Uh, I will be along with Daniel at St. Anne's covering the uh, the race for St. Mark's Hospital. They have a bicycle event today. We will have uh, Billo, uh, Paul Billington, will be at the Benister Sports Grounds covering the sports tasting day that they have, where you can go out and sample a number of sports. If you have nothing to do today, either stop by St. Anne's or stop by the Benister Sports Ground. Maybe do both. Stop by both. We've got a new pool be covering one of the Harrow games, and we have um, 
uh, uh, Nick Degard is covering the other. I, I see, this is why I should have stuff written down in front of me. Nick Degard is covering uh, the the Wheelstone game. So we have people everywhere. We are just we're we're like a little octopus with all these tentacles spread out. Uh, so Gaz, you you recently uh, we we talked about the fact that you're in the Philippines. You got married. That's right. Uh, the song that we just played has already gone into the dance charts. In Australia, yeah, number two. At number two, yeah. How did that happen? Um, well, uh, basically, I, I do a lot of video blogging anyway, um, so you know, um, people see that online, um, and so when uh, when the record goes on pre-order, then uh, the downloads start happening. Um, but I was saying to Daniel off of off of air, uh, off air, um, that back in 2006, I was actually out in Australia on tour. Um, and I was also on um, uh, KISS FM Australia and also what would be regarded as being Strictly Come Dancing here uh, called Dancing with the Stars in Australia. So I built up a fan base there and people haven't forgotten. So uh, And I still get radio airplay out in Australia even on my old records. So there tends to be quite a lot of activity all, all year round every year. From, from that area so I'm quite lucky um, and there's a lot of radio promoters down there that still plug all of my records so as soon as they know anything news coming they sort of grab that and put that out as well to, to the radio stations and then it seems to st you know the new records start getting airplay um, what happened also is because of the recent wedding and also that chart success um, in Australia the magazines started picking up on the story so there's a lot of stories out there um, in a lot of different magazines so um, what I put up on my Facebook page is don't just type in Gaz Reynolds type in Gaz Reynolds in the Philippines you'll get quite a lot of good um, results there from magazines you'll see them all online and also you can type in Gaz Reynolds chart success and you'll get a lot of magazines come up if you just type in Gaz Reynolds you'll also see that you and I are in my music weekly this week so oh. we're, we're featured in, in a magazine which is a global publication as well um, and it's not the first time we've been in, pre in the press, as I've mentioned to you before. I think I've sent you over some yes, you have, clips yeah. in the past. Yeah. But it's always worth just constantly Googling. <laughs> I, I just get forgotten about. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, we're going to yeah. get you in something now. <laughs> we're going to get you in something. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll tell you what in a bit. Well, we just did a little photo shoot off air, didn't we? So, yes, we um, so yeah. some of those pictures, I'm sure, will crop up somewhere. Hey, Gaz, I had a question for you. Yeah. Now, obviously, your music career is taking you to loads of different places. Obviously, you got married in the Philippines, but your yeah. main chart success is in Australia. So I was wondering. Well, it's not just Australia. I've had chart success, a lot of chart success in America. Yeah. So I was wondering, with all the places that your career is taking you, yeah. Where's your favourite place? Like, where's the best place you've been with your career? Um, well, I've, I, I get, I'm in a Russian magazine at the moment as well, um, which was a bit of a surprise to me. That that cropped up the other day. I love Russia. Um, when I went there on tour, which was, I think, back in 2006, I was a bit kind of gobsmacked to see that there was a lot of my records bootlegged. Um, it was exciting to see it, but also I kind of thought, well, hang on a minute, the mafia is making money out of my records mm. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about it uh, you um, can send them a bill <laughs> <laughs> yeah right <laughs> um, but uh, so I would say Russia uh, is one of my favourite countries I absolutely love the Philippines um, and it seems like I've created a fan base there now because I'm actually getting radio airplay there as well on some of the major stations out there so that's exciting um, America uh, well you know I've done a lot of radio interviews there I've had chart success there um, and I was being played out alongside some really big artists like Madonna, L, L Cool J, etc. Um, so, uh, but I would love to, I've only really ever made it as a club star in the UK. Um, and I would like to get some, I've, I, I mean, I get quite a lot of airplay here, but, um, but I've never got to Radio 1. Yeah. Well, uh... <laughs> and that's not easy. <laughs> now, let me ask you, you mentioned about Dancing with the Stars, which is like our Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah. How well did you do? I didn't dance on it. I was performing my new single called In This oh, House at the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, um, I, I thought maybe you were had, no, had a, no. a hidden talent we didn't know about. No, but I can dance. Um, do you want to show us? 
No, thank you. <laughs> uh, I know I, I would do really well in a program like that. Uh, I get a lot of because they vote to get you off, right? And I would be one of the first ones they would vote to get to get. You off could tell all show. your friends. Yeah, everyone voted for me. Yeah, <laughs> everyone voted to kick me out the show. Yeah. In the meantime, uh, we sadly have to stop for a moment and do a sports update. Well, not sad for poor Richard Newman, who's been patiently waiting to tell us all about what is happening in the world of sports. Uh, let's hear our sports update with Richard Newman. It's 50 minutes, 10 before 8, 50 after 7 on Radio Harrow. This is Radio Harrow. It certainly is. And we need to sort of put to bed this issue of our who is it. I asked you a renowned British comedian and magician who tragically collapsed during a live TV broadcast, born this date in 1921. I, of course, wasn't living in the UK, so I probably wouldn't have remembered him. Uh, but, Gaz, do you remember Tommy Cooper? Oh, yes, I do. I Oops. Do Tommy Cooper. Yeah, let, me, let me turn your microphone yeah. on and do let's not, try again. Yeah, do you I remember do, I, Tommy Yeah, I do remember Tommy Cooper. And, and um, I was trying, I, I actually had a little picture, uh, image of him in my head at the time. And then I thought, no, it can't be him. And then I was thinking of Paul Daniels because he's been in the news so much recently because um, he passed away, obviously, the other day. Um, so, uh, so I didn't didn't actually say Tommy Cooper, but yes, I do remember him. Yeah, and that that is who the answer was. Oh. By the way, I need to send a greeting to um, uh, you know we're based here in a hospital, and our befriending service looks after people who are unwell. My cousin Leslie Leslie Mixon, uh, he's not my cousin; he's my nephew. What am I saying? Uh, Leslie Mixon, he's unwell and in hospital, and I wish him a very speedy recovery. Uh, right now, wow, we've only got six minutes left in this hour. Gaz, uh, what's next on your agenda? Well, you've got um, you've got uh, another version of Electric Karma Sutra. Um, if you can give that a quick spin, I, I could do that in the next hour because I'd have to download okay, that's, it. it. Yeah, that's it's, it's that's still fine. in my mail. That's fine. Um, and um, but uh, you know, if you want to go out and buy the record, it's available worldwide. Um, it came out yesterday. It's available on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, um, anywhere you can think of, really. Um, and a couple of other updates um, is I think I mentioned to you, Gary, the other day that my driving school has just relaunched as well. Great drive. And we've now uh, feature on all of the cars, the Radio Harrow logo. And it looks really cool. Now, I also remember you had mentioned in your email uh, as we were planning this, uh, there's this thing which I've, I've heard about, but I just I, I don't think it's actually going to succeed. It's called television were there pictures on a box that, it w along with sound, television? Never heard of it. A and you had said something about having a TV program? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You just reminded oh, oh, me. Yeah. 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 Um, I've, I'm actually uh, just about to start shooting in May a, uh, a six part TV show. For, I'm not allowed to say the, the TV station yet because we haven't done all the publicity. A new show called Road Risk, which is all about teenage drivers and after what what they go on to after they've actually passed their driving test so i'm one of the three um instructors that have been hired for the show um so we're hoping that if it does very well that we'll get a second season out of it are we allowed to start guessing what channel it is like can you give us hot or cold no please? no just no, wait no, wait no, wait no, wait and see wait and see we're more than happy to wait yeah, i don't want to get sued <laughs> Uh, so, uh, but we will look forward to that. And of course, once you are able to let us know, we'll uh, yep. make sure that we uh, get that information out and uh, spread it around. Yep. Um, let's see. We, we're just. We're, I'm going to see what I can do here. There should be a hashtag. Hashtag get gas on UK charts. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag get yeah, gas to number one. Go and download my new record from iTunes. It's called Electric Karma Sutra. The Somniac mixes. Um, get that into the charts in the UK, and then. I'll be on every radio station when I'm being interviewed. Hashtag yeah. do it for yeah. Gaz, hashtag do it yeah. for Radio Harrow. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, what we're going to do, we're going to play a quick song because then we have news, travel, weather. That's coming up next. Radio Harrow. Here is a breakfast that's almost too good to be true, and yet it is. This is Breakfast. Radio Harrow. And it is uh, five minutes after eight o'clock. Good morning to you all for listening. Uh, thank you for listening around the world and especially here in Harrow. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Gary. And still with us here in the studio, Gaz Reynolds. Uh, good morning again to you, Gaz. Good morning, Gary. Uh, nice to have you all here in the studio as we kick off hour two of Radio Harrow Breakfast. Don't forget, in hour three at nine o'clock, we will have the 
head of the labor group in Harrow, and that makes him the head of the Harrow Council. David Perry will be here in the studio. We will be talking with him live in the studio throughout the hour and a chance for you to get in your questions about the council. I'm also going to talk to him about parking because I've got a, a notice about parking. They've taken the street that I live on and they're going to make it all resident only, but you have to pay to get a resident permit. And it's not cheap either. You've got to pay like a hundred pounds to get your resident but permit. But you drive. Well, I, it's, it's not just the parking. They're putting double yellow lines in everywhere. That's another question. Yep. Because that's to get money as well. And also, they've just done away with the green bins. And now we're expected to pay on top of the council tax that we're paying. And we're being told that if you want your, your green rubbish, you know, your garden waste, etc., taken away, you have to pay an extra fee. Yeah, same with Brunt as well. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. In the meantime, we have a brain buster for you. And this one is a little bit different because it's something now no googling on this one please i just want to know the country with the longest coastline simple as that the country with the longest coastline usually these are very difficult questions this one a very easy one is it Any, the states i think is australia uh we've got australia as a guess we've got the states as a guess i'm not going to tell you if those are right or wrong And there they are, Sigala on Radio Hero Sweet Love. And uh, my friends in Tanzania, I know some of them think that Sigala is something that you smoke because this key Swahili word for a cigarette is cigara. And they get their L's and their R's mixed up. And their L's, their R's, and their G's. So it, it really becomes a problem during elections when they uh, switch the L's and the R's up. Oh, and they, oh. get all, uh, <laughs> they, they get all excited. Then. Yeah, don't vote uh, for that. But, uh, I don't think you can vote for that. Yeah. Uh, but the... Um, so what do they call a cigar? Uh, no, uh, it's also a cigar. They're, they're anything that you smoke is a cigar. Um, so, uh, but in the meantime, uh, that was Sweet Love and here on Radio Hero. I'm with Gaz Reynolds. Uh, don't forget our breakfast brain roaster this morning, the country with the longest coastline. And if you think you know the answer, you could give us a call at 0208 869 3959. Text us at 88802. Start your text with 123 Harrow. Please remember you will be charged your standard network rate. You can email programming at radioharrow.com. Org. And don't forget, programming is P R O G R A double M I N G. We are British. We spell things with two M's, uh, and not like the Americans who decided to just lose letters willy nilly. Coming from uh, an American, that is. Yes. A and I'm very Americanized, so I tend to spend, spell um, the, the American way sometimes. Yeah. I, <laughs> if I ever were to go back to America, I'd be absolutely lost because I. Would they, be, they probably I, won't understand what you're talking about. And I would struggle to remember <laughs> how to spell things correctly. <laughs> I, I do a lot of correspondence with people in America by email, and they're always... I mean, I've even had one person correct my my report that I had for his online website, and he corrected all my my words from British English to American English. I, I, <laughs> in my opinion, there is no such thing as... American English, it's just they can't spell. <laughs> well, I know um, iPhone can't. Well, yeah. <laughs> autocorrect an iPhone has, has gotten me into trouble a few times. Yeah, it has me as well. Um, in the meantime, all right, so we had two different takes of Electrocomer Sutra. Yes. Uh, and I have now the other one. Now, this one, as I say, has me a bit nervous, Gaz. No, don't uh, be nervous. Oh, well, actually, it has me even more nervous because I'm just looking at it. And it says it's only 47 seconds long. Oh, now I'm getting uh, that, nervous. That, that you is... must be looking at the wrong version. <laughs> that that definitely doesn't seem right. <laughs> uh, why is that? Are you that? sure that it's only 47, 47 <laughs> seconds long? Um, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be, but that's... that's I can what... sing it live if you like. Yeah, go for electric it. Electric Karma Sutra Electric. <laughs> well, let's, let's just... We'll play what it has in the system and see Would if like it really to? goes on uh, for 47 seconds. Free your mind, your body and soul. Electric Kama Sutra, electric Ooh. Electric Kama Sutra, electric
And there it is, the Electric Kama Sutra on Radio Hero. And it, it, it went longer it, than... It was longer than 47 was, seconds. Yeah. I, I was just getting, I was getting my vocals ready. I was <laughs> yeah. going to start singing. One night in heaven is all I want from you. But that, I didn't have that, to do it in the end. That, 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 that would have been great. Uh, we, we, we would have been better off. Well, no, not better off, but it would have been fine. Maybe <laughs> someday we ought to get you to come in with, like, a backing track and Yeah, sing. no, I've, I've been thinking yeah, about it, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, it would be I've quite cool. Say, that five seconds, that was actually pretty good. Uh, it got, that deserves a round of applause. What, the f- five seconds of me doing the vocal? Yeah, then? yeah it, was, it was Oh, good. thank you. Yeah, I tend to sing better in the mornings. <laughs> really? Uh, I yeah. thought, like, you're more awake in the afternoon. Sort no, of no, no. It, um, I've spoken to loads of musicians and um they all have different day t- times of the day when they can sing better i find I, I find by the evening my vocal voice will be withering i just can't sing any time of the day <laughs> well i didn't want to say anything <laughs> well i've heard uh, you singing I, I, I'm, I'm glad that you admitted that though daniel in the meantime 18 minutes after as uh, well 17 minutes after eight o'clock dyslexia kicking in but uh, we do have uh, some news for you uh, including sainsbury and richard branson they're all in the business news and we've got elizabeth william she's got all the details for you on your money matters in the city, the FTSE's closed down 11 points at 61.89. Sainsbury's has won its four-month battle to buy the owner of Argos Home Retail Group. The supermarkets agreed a £1.2 billion deal. Earlier, the only other bidder, South African firm Steinhoff, pulled out. Whirlpool has recruited hundreds of extra staff to deal with a safety recall involving millions of tumble dryers. Last November, the owner of Hotpoint and Indesit said the dryers could be dangerous as lint can build up against the heating element. 3.4 million customers have been contacted, but they may have to wait until January next year for repairs or a replacement. Sir Richard Branson's accusing politicians of refusing to back expansion at Heathrow because they're concerned about their own careers. The billionaire founder of the Virgin Group said the UK is being held back by the government's delay in backing a third runway at the West London Airport. And Sainsbury's is to stock vinyl at some stores from next Monday. The supermarket is following the lead of rival Tesco. Demand for the product increased by 60% last year. From Pinner to Queensbury. From Green Hill to Ryslip, this is Radio Harrow. Radio Harrow, traffic and travel. Looking at travel for the Harrow and the Greater London area, we of course have the two line closures, including Circle District, Hammersmith and City, and Metropolitan Lines, as well as the London Overground and TFL Rail. Oddly enough, they still say the Waterloo and City Line is closed, but we know that it should be open by now. Not sure why that is still there. Trains are fine. The roads are fine. The weather, you know, I'm not going to say the weather is bad. It's just not great. It's clouds throughout the day, highs of 7 degrees. There might be some light drizzle, more clouds, and maybe a morning shower tomorrow, highs of 8 degrees. Similar weather over the next few days. Currently 6 degrees in Harrow at 819. You're up to date. This is breakfast. You know I can't work without a good breakfast. Radio Harrow. Now, Gaz, I understand you have to... uh, head off so yeah I, so i do have to head off um very very sh- soon actually okay well i thank you ever so much for joining us this morning and, and thanks for having me back on the show and i look forward to seeing you again soon i'm sure uh, you'll have to put up with me again i'm no no hearing a live cover, <laughs> well, cover oh, well, yeah, well, I, I sang live as well yep. I, I guess it's sing. i guess it's not really a cover since you own the song well yeah but it's yeah. a it's a cover version of a song that I actually wrote, which wasn't a cover version. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyways, uh, again, thank you very much, everyone. Gaz Reynolds here in the thank studio. Thank you. Bye, everybody bye. around the world. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Bye, 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 bye. More than just music. Radio Harrow.